Hey everyone, I hope you're all staying safe and going well. So I noticed that around Christmas time I started to receive more texts and see more social media posts about donating blood. Which is why I decided to make this quick little video documenting my experience on the process of the donation and hopefully raise more awareness to this important issue. I do have videos about my first ever blood donation and a plasma donation, but I have got way more experience donating blood as well as editing videos since then. It was actually my one year anniversary as a donor recently on the 22nd of December, which is awesome, and I can't wait to see all those years to come. So without further ado, let's get into my eight donation. So to prepare for the donation make sure to have plenty of savoury foods and drink lots of water. The recommended amount is 750 millilitres which is around three cups. You'll probably receive a text from Lifeblood either the day before or the morning of your donation just to remind you of what to do and how to get ready. And don't forget to bring your phone so that you can check in with a QR code and also show your donor card. And you also need to bring a valid ID such as a driver's license or a student card. And then you'll be led to the waiting room to fill out a questionnaire where you can enjoy the free Wi-Fi until it's time to get your blood pressure checked, sign a form of consent and then do the actual donation. Also it is a pretty simple process, after they put the needle in and make sure you're okay, you just kind of lounge around watching the TV and just enjoying life until it's time for them to take the needle out. I always make sure to look away when they're putting the needle in or taking it out because it's not really painful for me unless I actually see it. Unfortunately, I didn't get any photos this time because it was pretty busy and I didn't want to interrupt anyone, so I will be putting some old photos here. After that, the friendly staff will send you to the refreshments area where you can just sit down and relax for the next 10 to 15 minutes. If you aren't experiencing any bad symptoms or side effects, you are good to go to enjoy the rest of your day. If you do start having symptoms a few days later, you can always call Lifeblood or whichever organisation you're with and tell them about it so they can help you. Then in the next week or two, you'll receive a text from Lifeblood letting you know that your donation has been successful and is on a way to give someone the gift of life. If you have donated blood or even plasma or platelets before, please let me know about your experiences, I'd love to hear them. And if there's any questions you want me to answer, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you'd like to see the video about my first time donating blood or a video documenting the process of a plasma donation, I will be putting them here. Once again, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing day or night and have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.